on folks this is Rick and this is your seat at the table and as you can see I'm still fiddling around with the idea of an opening bit for the channel uh, this one's a little more oriented for Middle Earth of course uh, the music is a little tinny right because I used a an exterior device my cell phone <laughs> to play it while I was recording it so uh, because I'm trying to uh, I'm still trying to get a grip on the volume so it doesn't just rock it out and hammer people's ears when they least expect it. Anyway, this is Gates of Mordor. And for Middle Earth Role Playing Game, of course, uh, Ready to Run Fantasy Role Playing Adventure. Let's see. It was published, uh, first edition, May 1987. Right? And, uh, don't have a don't have a price tag on it, so but I think it was about eight dollars because a lot of these were in that realm back in the 80s. So what we have here is an area in and around the gates of of of, of uh, the Moranin and the northern uh, Ithian, or is it for Ithian, or however you want to pronounce it. And it says a shipment of wine and ale has disappeared in North Ithian. Virtual wealthy wine merchant has offered a reward for the information assistance. Are you brave enough to follow the trail of the wine bandits? The tower of Barad Paras once withstood the efforts of besieging orcs. Years later, it was abandoned and forgotten. Recently, however, a band of Scarahai orcs have claimed the tower at Razo base from which to terrorize the area. Are you willing to face the trouble at Little Horn? The people in Minas Terra speak a strange band of orcs and their sorcerer's leader, Gunthor. These Scarahai have been bred for very special plans, plans to about to come to their gruesome fruition. Do you have the courage to face the master of Durthang? Danger is everywhere, so are the rewards of these three exciting adventures. So this kind of ties in with the uh, Fortress of Middle Earth section for the Teeth of the, the Towers of Teeth and er, the Moranin and uh, other elements within it. So, you know, it's good to have them if you have them, right? Once again, we're back to having some interesting stuff. So we got Claws, the Works of the Green Claw, Trail of the Wine Bandits, NBCs, Typical Burka, the Scarahai Fighting Unit of Burka has a leader and four others, two warriors, two scouts. The warriors are encountered with reinforced leather armor, studded, blah, blah, blah. Got the layout of Mar Malarian or House of the Wine Pressing. The wine house lies in a sheltered vale overlooking Man Eskerwing. A house is a villa built in traditional Dunedain style, expanse with long, low buildings surrounding a closed courtyard. Well, it has every amenity, including two bathhouses, a small shrine, gardens, a park, and of course, extensive cellars. All right? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Island handling of play. I was just trying to see if there was a, a recap on it. And sometimes there are and sometimes they're not. Let you know what your character is kind of the point of the particular adventure is. And the action adventure takes place in the northern fringes of Tar Ithian or the Ithian Wood. This woodland area became a hell. Heath, Heath and Moor rises steep, quite steeply from the banks of Anduin to the Epithadel. The mountains loomed up ominously on the eastern flank, a barrier to the withered and barren land of Mordor. The wood can appear rather dark and mistrustful itself from a distance, particularly in the northernmost stretches where somber trees such as larches, cypress, holly, and box make up the bulk of the forest. Okay. So we got a breakdown of the house of the wine pressing, layout of the villa, nice little, I ran this campaign, or this adventure twice, and with, first time was with mixed results, and second time was uh, with a group that was more enthusiastic about it, uh, there was a lot of wine getting consumed and or broken along the path, uh, anyway, so you got the various places, kitchens, dining room, living room, terrace, inner court, temple, the cellar. The rope walk is a, the rope walk is a dangerous pass on the face of the cliff to the bandit slayer. It starts a narrow a narrow three to six feet wide negotiating. This is normally easy, but may get more difficult at night in wind, rain, or ice and snow. Thus, at night in a howling blizzard, it would be sheer folly to try to follow the path. And here's the little path along the cliff base to get to their cave of uh, the task. 
The task in this venture is to discover the reason for the delay in the supplies of wine and ales to the perch owl and, win and win the wine merchant. The reason it has, is it has as has been noted, that Hare, Marion, and all of his family and workers have been slaughtered by the orcs of the Green Claw. In the process of discovering this, the player characters also have a chance to meet one or two groups of the orcs themselves, and also some bandits who are operating in the area. So, starting the players as the first adventure is one which you want to start easy, easy to start players off. So easy for first, second level is what they're getting at. And then, then it gradually gets more uh, difficult as you go through. Picture of the wine merchant is, will be well known by the characters of moderately flamboyant man, a lesser dinner is liked by his customers for his generosity and fairness, he also employs attractive bartenders. For their part, the PCs will be known as men and women restless and looking for a bit of adventure. So Perchel approaches them when he gets told by the guard that the men can't be to investigate. He can offer a reward for information and assistance rendered, but it's hoped the players will be sufficiently motivated by lure, adventure, and mystery. Virtual can also lend the characters horses if they need them. So, the first part of the generator from wherever you wish the characters to start. And then obstacles, sexual completion, the orcs themselves, some of the bandits. There are no special tricks or traps involved, although if the characters start chasing the bandits to their lair, they could be well ambushed either on the track or the rope walk. Similarly, the characters are not circumspect in the way they approach the villa, broadcast their presence to the orcs. They might find a nasty surprise. The rewards from this adventure can be include plunder from the villa and the bandits, some money and other forms of thanks, i.e. free drinks from Virgil, and the opportunity to rid the world from vicious scum, depending on how you look at the orcs and bandits. The rest will be uh, the idea of seeking out the Orc Slayer and finding their horde, right? So, which gives you the segue to lead to the next adventure. Trouble at Little Horn. There you go. Fishing Orcs. Terror, the Tale of Barred Paris. Little Horn Tower is located on the lower slopes of the peak of the Eiffel Dow, known as the Hallers, or Big Horn. It overlooks both the headwaters streams and Sir Astroween, one of the major rivers of the North Ithian, in an area of bleak moorland and scree, scree falls. The tower is old, dating back to the first centuries of the, the, the Third Age, founded by an old Dunedain noble. The NPCs, the layout of, of the tower, the area around it, the tower itself, nice little breakdown, the task. This adventure can either be the follow-up to the previous adventure or a separate distinct task of its own. It involves the discovery and elimination of a viper's nest of orcs hiding in the old tower. Depending on the strengths of your players and party, you increase or decrease the toughness of this adventure by giving them more or less opponents to fight. Adventure can be motivated by desire for revenge or out of simple hatred of orcs. It can also be because someone dear to the characters or someone else hires them as held captive in a tower, or by the hope of loot from the orc slayer. So we are starting the characters, aid, obstacles, strength of garrison and tower is the main obstacle. You know, the orcs, right? Uh, rewards, fair amount of treasure can be found in a tower, assuming they don't bury it in, in a, quote, explosion. Uh, obviously, there's something here that lets you blow the place up by accident or something. Uh, characters will also, through adventure, learn of the existence of more orcs of the Green Claw, somewhere in, in a citadel high in the Apple Death, or the Sh Mountains of Shadow. Uh, I believe that's what that is. Under the control of a sinister and powerful leader with all of its likelihood. And there's a the, uh, mountains of ash. A little vague on it. Uh, character. You know, make a comment. Tell me what the hell I'm talking about. Characters will also get a bounty from the Gondorian officials if they report their discovery and action, assuming all went well. This should be appropriate for their level, but might typically be something like 100 gold pieces per person. So, nothing too specifically fancy. Alright, so we leave this to the possibility of the next adventure, the Gates of Mordor, which, where, like I said, uh, the Towers of Teeth installment would come in handy at that point because, I mean, it's not necessary because they give you enough of that information in here, but more flushed out if you want. The outer fences are dark shadow, shadow mountains. Yeah. I have playing an undoing in the great great way of Mordor, the gigantic staging area. Uh, Uden is a crater like plateau ringed by jagged peaks to the north lies Sarah's Gorger. Yeah. You guys know. You know. Alright, so we got Master of Tale of Grinther, the Master of Dirthling, 
The section of Skarahai is ancient history. For granted, it's an immortal demonic werewolf and a servant of Sauron from the first and second ages. When his mortal form was slain at the end of the second age, it took him times to get Sauron to regenerate his body and relearn his old skill and power. Oh, so you always want to deal with a werewolf. Here's a really old, nasty one. Uh, I wouldn't tell it to his face, though. He might get first. No, he might take it first. Uh, lay out of the tower and the orc caverns. Features in northern uh, yeah, mountains of shadow. Dirt thing. Tower. The task. Main task. Character's task is their thing depends partly on the reasons for coming. However, anyone coming here has a chance to, to frustrate one of the most evil schemes being hatched by Sauron through his myriad agents. Gerther's attack on the Gondorian watch on Mordor at Surf's Ungol and Minas Ithil. This can be accomplished through various routes. Slaying Gerther's mortal form, destroying the Green Sister Stone linked to the Andang, or simply bringing back the information as swiftly regarding the imminent attack so that the garrisons are better prepared to repel it. Slaying the, the Fa Korlash could also be of benefit as his leadership and presence of the tribal totem, i.e. the cleaver, is the most important to the Skarahai's morale, morale in battle, hence their effectiveness. All right, starting the players, aids, obstacles, rewards. The rewards for overcoming Gerser, Garuher, uh, and scuppering the Scarahai will be handsome and concert with the ability shown by the characters. Officials in Gondor may reward good intention characters with money, a presentation, perhaps a magic item, maybe even a title. For others who undertook the adventure with more mercenary attitude, rewards might be only encompass money and a hearty thanks. There is a fair amount of treasure to be looted from the tower in Orc's Caves, which any of the characters are welcome to keep. Yeah, keep it. Okay. So the breakdown encounters the Scarahai. More and more information on the our small, scare high or small tribe of orcs have developed certain unique racial characteristics also through the influence of arcane magic have other special abilities. Originally they dwelt in the far southeast of Mordor in the mountains where the uh, Epeldeth border the border Khan in the far lands they were never pacified by Gondor after Sauron was overcome many dark practices continue there that few others know of ancient and ageless Sauron blah 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 so Right. Let's just say that they're above average orcs with some meddling. Right. That's a little map of the area. So there you have it. The gates of Mordor. Till next time, my friends.